Uh, hello everybody, my name is Anthony Arroyo um, from theabletoncookbook.com and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how to automate track groups. Um, so one of the best things, uh, in my opinion, about Ableton 8, Ableton Live 8, is that uh, the ability to take groups, take tracks, as in here, one, two, one, two, three, and four here, and make them into groups. And this is very useful when you have something like, for example, we have perk one and perk two here. We have two percussion tracks, so we can group them together um, so that they can be mixed together. You don't have to worry about um, sort of uh, adjusting the volume for each of them separately. You could do it all um, with one, which is very useful. Um, it also allows you to be able to put one effect or group of effects on onto the group's track and it will affect both of the uh, signals. So the way that you actually uh, make a group track is you select the tracks you want to group. So you um, select one track, select the other one, press shift and click on the other track and you'll see it selects both of them. Then you control or right click and group tracks like that. And now we have a group um, a group of tracks, like this, a group of two tracks in this case. You can do as many or as little as you'd like. Um, so right now we have this little loop that I made. Let's see here. So you can see this track right here is the main percussion track. It's kind of a drum track. And here there's um, there's a... Uh, uh, just a hi-hat from a different drum rack that I like quite a bit. Um, so I want to mix these together. I don't want there to be a big difference in the... I want to apply the same effects to them. I want to be able to adjust the volume um, together. I don't want to have to... If I want to change volume, I don't want to have to drag down the volume of track one and drag down the volume of track two sort of proportionally. I want to be able to do them all at once. So that's what I can do with a group track. So um, let's go ahead and... Uh, put a effect on this group track and you can see if I drag it in here now it will affect both of the tracks so you can see that both of these tracks track perk one and perk two are going into the group track they're being affected by this effect warm and tough two in this case and then they're being sent out to the master. So, but the the difficulty with this, or the, the sort of the, the bad thing about this feature is that you can't automate the group track. And see, so if you see right here where I have selected, there's no drop down menu. So on these ones, on perk one and perk two, you have a drop down menu with every conceivable parameter that you can go ahead and automate and draw little lines and do whatever you want to do. But for whatever reason, in the group track, there is no automation lane. Um, and this I found really disconcerting, but luckily I figured out a way around this. So what you do is you put a effect into the group track, anything that you'd like, it doesn't really actually matter what you do. You arm record, and then you start playing, and you adjust any parameter, just once. And what you'll notice now, is when you right click this group or control click depending on what you are you can add automation lane and now you can see right here there is an automation that we actually made and so this is like maybe this is not what we want to do um, but so you can just delete it and then you'll notice though that now you have a drop down menu which means that we can automate the many different parameters within this uh, this track right here so you get, but what's interesting is that not just the parameter that you touched will be have a lane, but there's a drop down menu now for every single parameter and effect and uh, mixer value on this lane, which is kind of amazing. I don't know why it works like that, but that's that's how it works. So for example, if you'd like to automate the, the volume of this group, I can basically make it so that, for example, here, the percussion track gets louder through this five uh, or four bar measure or four bar pattern here so and 
drop down again. And you can also automate, in this case, the delay amount, which I'd actually like to do quite a bit, is if you have a delay, you can automate the delay amount and it'll give it a little bit more sort of boogie, um, a little bit more movement on the track. So here, it's gonna delay more and more as it goes through. And you get the delay getting more, and even down here, if you look, the automation is moving. And um, what's cool about this is that you're not actually even committed really to this effect. So you can delete this effect and put in, I don't know, whatever drum hollower or whatever you'd like to put in there right on the group again. And you'll see it appear in the automation lane drop downs. So um, anyway, so hopefully that's helpful. Uh, you, you're gonna have to do it however for every group track that you have but it is useful when you're trying to add some automation and you don't want to go ahead and do it all by all by uh, all by hand because I've in the past I've really avoided using group tracks sometimes because of this inability to automate but now I don't have that problem so anyway um, I hope this is helpful my name is Anthony Arroyo from the ableton.cookbook.com um, go ahead and check that out for a whole bunch of uh, tips and tricks and uh, tutorials and stuff like that okay have a great night